So I'm here to show you around Penley in New Mill today. Uh, this is a 1960s detached bungalow. Uh, it's stone built. Um, it's. Uh, I'm going to show you the some of the outside space first of all. Uh, the land here at the side is uh, scheduled for development at the moment. Uh, so there's currently planning permission in for three uh, large detached houses. So the boundary of this property will end at this fence gate here. There will be an access down the side. So roughly to where the tree is down there. So just so you've got access around the property. There will also be this area here also included in the sale so you've got a larger larger garden than there is currently i'll take you inside and then i'll show you the uh, the back later so we've got a porch here which then leads through into the hall and then from here we're straight into the kitchen so the original 1960s kitchen in here at the side, we've got a small sort of garden room, sitting room. A uh, great place to show you the uh, the views out the back. And then go back through the kitchen and into the lounge. So it's a decent sized living room here. Windows on uh, the side as well as the front. Again, you get the great views from here. I'll just pan around the room. Okay. So there are three bedrooms and a bathroom on this level. Uh, the bathroom, just through here, still obviously the original, original suite. The shower there, and then. We've got a double bedroom here. And then we've got uh, two more bedrooms here. Good size, as is the uh, screw on the ladder, as is the uh, Third bedroom here as well, again a really good size. And we've got the views. So I'll show you up the ladder. I never promised you a slick presentation here. So we've got a really uh, good size loft space up here. I think scope to uh, put dormers in possibly and uh, convert. More space here. So you could have, I think, Two bedrooms up here, obviously subject to uh, planning and building regs. Okay, so back down the ladder. And downstairs we've got, it's quite a narrow stairwell from the hall that leads down into the basement. There is a door here out to the back, uh, the boiler in there, and we've got the uh, the garage. There is another little room beyond that block work there, um, which goes beneath the uh, the garden room. So there's a garage door out into the back. This is a reasonable height, but then the ceiling height is probably just over two meters in uh, in the other, some of the other sections of the uh, of the basement. So this is probably the lowest height room. But you've got a lot of scope here to convert these or use these as uh, for hobbies and the likes. Um, this space sort of runs along all the back of the property, so it's uh, quite a big space, but it's sort of built onto the, uh, the bedrock by the looks of it. So then out the back door, 
you've got lots more parking round the back here. That's the driveway we walked in on. Um, and a garden area. And that's the uh, sort of the rear elevation of the property. There will also be a further area of land just uh, also included just uh, just running down to the dry stone wall there, approximately that space you can see there. So this is the rear elevation. Difficult to get it all on camera in one go. So yeah, so I hope the tour has been helpful. Uh, if you do want to uh, arrange uh, physical viewing, uh, please just call our office and uh, we'll arrange an appointment for you.